Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? What mathematics is all? A system of thought for recognizing and spotting pattern. Join us as we understand the quantity, structure, space, and change. This is the presentation of Blue Board. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> Good day to everyone, especially to our lazy mathematicians, I mean student out there, watching us on this video. Have you ever wondered what mathematics is for? Does it even exist within the fabric of nature? How and what is its purposes in keeping the balance of everything that we do? The answer is yes. Mathematics exists in our nature. It doesn't just analyze. It can predict how all kinds of systems will work. According to Ian Stewart, nature exploits every pattern that there is, which is why we keep discovering patterns everywhere. We human express these patterns in numbers, but nature doesn't use numbers. Can you give me an example? I can give you one. The ancient Greeks, thanks to their wis thanks to their hunger for wisdom, which we now call philosophy, have observed the heavens. In their observation, they noticed how the spar how the stars form a pattern, and that pattern is what we now call constellations. Not only that, they noticed how the constellation move in a certain way different times of the year if you could observe at the sky it forms like a half circle throughout the year in its movement and that is what they have that place where they move is what they call an orbit and the shapes the shape of it is what we now call an ellipse however the idea of the ellipse and the or orbit were lost until the 16th century around the renaissance around the renaissance and baroque period when johannes kepler rediscovered it but how can it be expressed just as kepler was rediscovering the idea of orbits a new branch of mathematics is being formed at the same time though independently by Sir Isaac Newton in Great Britain and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in the European mainland. That new branch is what we, what we call calculus. And it offered answers for both scientists like Newton and mathematicians like Leibniz. On one hand, on one hand calculus can determine the change of motion in planets, but at the same time, it can offer more questions that a mathematician can wants to answer rather. Can you at least get to the point of all of that? The point is that with nature's help, mathematics can serve a twofold purpose which Ian Stewart dictate somehow created as the the first purpose of mathematics that first purpose is to understand nature and discover the secret behind the patterns that the behind the patterns that exist within that is Stuart's first motion for mathematics for mathematics purpose wait there are more purposes Yes, there are three points. There are three motions to be exact. You would like I could call a friend to explain the other ones. So I heard you want to know the steward other motions for math purpose. Well, his second point is mathematics organize the underlying patterns. But how does that work? Can you see the stars at night? Have you noticed that there are certain stars which form patterns of animals or mythical figures? 
Well, as you know, those are called constellations, which is misnomer for an accidental viewpoint since their distance is just approximate to the naked eye. On the other hand, if I tell you, you that their movement in their places can be calculated periodically, then that is what you, we call resonance. By knowing the resonance of celestial object, we can determine their standard reference position. This is the reason why Pluto was discovered in the first place. Its movement was beyond the recorded resonance of heavenly objects that that time and its movement was precisely calculated. So it means that with the help of mathematics, we can predict their movements? Precisely, that is Stewart's final point. Mathematics predicts. And for that, i like to ask Mary Rose to explain it to you. I'll take it from here. Mathematics is much more useful than we expected. It doesn't just analyze and compute, but it can also predict how nature will be. With a thorough understanding of heavenly bodies, astronomers can predict lunar and solar eclipses and the return of comets. On the other hand, meteorologists always had a hard time predicting the weather. We are doing mathematics of the tides, but the weather is more likely unpredictable. Despite this, it can still make an effective short-term prediction of weather patterns. Thanks guys! To sum it all up, mathematics has purposes in keeping the universe in shape. It helps us understand nature's organize the patterns behind every movement that there is and it predicts. To put it simple, math is the cradle of all creation from the resonance of celestial objects to the frequency of waves. Anything can be calculated, we just have to observe it carefully and at the same time appreciate it. Well, I think that it's from now until then, and continue to be enlightened, my fellow students. What is mathematics really for? Mathematics doesn't just analyze. It can predict how all kinds of system works. From the aerodynamics which keep the planes flying, to the amount of fertilizer required to increase crop yield, and even to the complicated calculations that keep satellites in orbit around the Earth to sustain internet and network to our mobile phones. Mathematics is the cradle of all creations. Everyone needs mathematics in their day-to-day -day lives. May it be a cook, a farmer, a doctor, a scientist, a musician, and even a magician. Mathematics can help us understand the world around us. To make sense of our place in history to make decisions, to interpret, quantify and communicate, and to see another layer of beauty in nature. Mathematics is everywhere. It is not only for scientists and mathematicians. It is for everyone.